Stop. Stop. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. about Yeah. Boy, man, he doesn't right before I die, man. What the fuck we got right here, man? You got stone with a tone, man. I know what the fuck it is. Live from North East, man. Right on telling me, man. What the fuck going on around here, man? It's like getting gentrified as shit. Yeah, you know? And government trying to get us up out of there, man. Right. They trying to get all the, you know what I'm saying? I'm, as I, I'm going to keep it just real. Colored people, they trying to get us out the hood. That's all it is, but... We still fighting, we still out here, we still pushing for our community, even though they trying to kick us out your community. Yeah, just kick us out and just turn it into theirs, turn it into they, what they want, make everything expensive, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Stop it, hey, how long have you been around here? And like, what's the difference you noticed, like, say about 10 to 15 years ago to yeah. now? Man, I, 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 I was at least like seven, eight, you know what I'm saying? And, when I was that age, this shit was really a hood. You know what I'm saying? So I'm assuming everybody that's still around here is homeowners. All yeah. The time. So if you, so don't get me wrong, it's a rack of motherfuckers who used to live around here who don't know more because you know they probably wasn't homeowners and they and, and they got bought out, so they had to move somewhere else. Right. But it's a lot of motherfuckers around here who still stand home, who own their homes, right, right, right. right. So they safe. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately. I was one of the people who who been down on me. So I was supposed to leave, you know what I'm saying? But I still be out here though, cause this my this my hood. I love this shit. That's all I know for real. For real. Right, 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 right. So when we first around here, it was basically a majority black community and everything. Like it was that, all man. black. It was all black. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying I'm fucking white people. I'm not no racist. But it was it was a lot of black people in this community. Majority right, right, black right. people. You wouldn't see a white a white person would be scared to walk down these streets in North East. Now it's it's common. It's it's, it's normal for you to see white people in this neighborhood. Well, yeah, you first started really the first time seeing it though. I want to say like I want to say it started. Okay, it, pro- it I want to say this shit had to start early, like around. I'm gonna say like mid two thousands, but I didn't see it coming. You know what I'm saying? I could see it coming, but I didn't see it coming. Right. But late 2000s, like motherfucking 2014, 15, and into now, I see it. Like, yeah, I see this so shit fast. happening now. We just slam like, yeah. like it's snowing out this morning. Yeah. I grew up on a block, all the houses too. Yeah. It was all black community, and then it just happened. Like, yeah. it, just, it just happened out of nowhere. This minute, they putting up the, they putting up the, uh, Okay, you know, the Charlie tried to all that shit, all that shit, you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, do you see the positivity in it? Yeah, yeah, I see positivity, but I don't see them really helping the, the, the real community, the motherfuckers that was here from the ground out, like the right. homeless, it's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck about that shit, they just walk, they don't care about that shit, right. but they trying to build, like, for example, they trying to build, like, this recreation, we all grew up at this recreation, this right. shit was... Uh, so man, that shit just we we we, we I, I done seen this shit going on for a long time now. So I'm pretty much used to it. I move around and shit for real, for real. This shit don't bother me. Right, right, I'm still right. gonna live my life and do what I gotta do to survive. Facts, 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 man. So yeah, man. Did you want an individual that that got pushed out of Merlin, or you still stayed in the city and just relocated somewhere else? Nah. I motherfuckers just relocated somewhere else. Uh, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. I have, I moved, I, I was living out Merlin for a little bit. That's uh, why I fuck with Merlin. I fuck with Merlin hard. Right, but right. when this shit happened, I relocated in the city, but I stayed in North East. I ain't gonna tell y'all exactly where yeah, I moved, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I stayed in North East though. Right, right, right. Yeah. Facts, facts, man. Oh, I stayed right, in North East. I love North East, man. This shit like that. Right, it's right, just. Right. Shit changing, and if you ain't ready for the change, man, you might, you know what I'm saying? You might get left. You just gotta, you gotta, uh, not go along with the flow, but you gotta adapt the shit. So if you're a homeowner, I advise you to keep your home, unless you, unless you don't care about the history of your home or 
none of that shit. And you, yeah, I think you a lot of cash. People, you have I got a lot of people just saw the money, man. Yeah, my hell yeah. My house and at the end of the day, I'm not gonna knock them people either for selling their homes. The homeowners that sold their homes for that money, I'm not gonna knock them either. Because you gotta get it how you live. Yes. Yeah. Right now, it's all about that dollar bill. Right now, you gotta get it how you live. And that's what they showing us. Right, 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 right. All the time. So we're gonna talk about the music side, man. How long yeah. have you been rapping or something like that, man? Shit, man. I've been I've been rapping for like three years now. I wanna say this is my this is my fourth year rapping. Uh, I'm coming hard twenty nineteen, man, for real. Right, right, right. I'm coming hard. So how did you start though? How did I start? I started rapping, you know what I'm saying? I seen a couple people I seen a couple of my men rapping. And you know what I'm saying? I was like, shit, I could do that shit too, for real, for real. You started, you started like just around the day with the rap. Nah, see, I, I started, honestly started rapping. One of my brother fans actually got me hit to a studio. You know what I'm saying? So I was fucking with him for a minute. But then things y'all like wasn't really working out like that. So I just went my own lane. Mm-hmm. Hopped in my own lane with the music. For real, for real. I'm still, I'm still fucking with a lot of different little waves and shit. Bro. They gonna hit me coming, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what's gonna distinguish you from the rest of the art within the region? You know what I'm saying? Within the city, within the region. Like, I just feel like I hear a lot of people saying that a lot of artists in the city they sound the same and shit. Right. Yeah, some niggas that sound the same, but I feel like there's a lot of motherfuckers who actually sound different, and me being one of them. Uh-huh. It's like you just gotta have a certain sound, not a certain sound, but you gotta have your own sound. Like that's just that's just what I feel. But I got my own sound. That's why I really call myself Stone with the Tone because I found the tone and I just ran with that shit. Right, right, right. Nah, that's fine, bro. Yeah. That's so I mean, what's the plans in the agenda right now as far as music and everything like that? Shit, my plans this year. I'm gonna keep it real, like. Life, life for me, just like rough right now. I'm gonna keep it. I'm going through family issues, all types of shit. So right. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to like strike a deal that's gonna fit for me. Hold up, you trying to get a deal? I'm like trying to strike the deal. A record deal. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of people criticize people like yeah. this these days. Get a label deal, say like an offer, a label deal, like get a distribution, yeah. and you know the, that, build a buzz on yourself, get your own fan base, sell your own albums. Yeah, hundred percent, at least ninety percent of the profit. Keep it real. That independent shit ain't for everybody though. Right, that shit sound good. You so this, <laughs> that shit sound good. So would you sign an actual three sixty? I would. I wouldn't sign. I. I don't know. I got. I, I haven't been. I haven't been in that predicament because, yet. Because so. my thing is this. See, my thing is this. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people would be like, "Hell no, fuck a three sixty. Yeah. That's a slave deal or yeah. whatever." But. Even after they get out their deal, they still in a situation where they can still eat off of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Before they 360, they yeah. wasn't even making $1,000 a yeah. show. You know what I'm saying? They probably mm-hmm. wasn't making no money. Right. And at 360, you know, because yeah. one thing you can say about 360s, they're going to make you a star. After your deal is done or after, you know, after your situation or whatever, then, you know, you might be mad at the deal, like, fuck the labels or whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. But shit you good in a situation where you know even if your buzz ain't up there you can still make some money you can now make independent money now you have you might have the fans that was there when right. you was hot you still have that solid fan base that you can always still go to and you can still sell a couple of records right. you can still make some hot songs and shit you know yeah, what i'm saying that. so a lot that. of people don't look at the other side you know yeah. 360 people and shit like that had, they i mean that's what's going on with the deals a lot of artists out here is getting fucked up but for me personally I this year is trying to get this deal. Like, really, like, I didn't talk to any, 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 any. I talked to I talked to a few A and R's. I talked to a couple different people. I had people reaching out to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna okay. throw that shit out there like that, but so if you sign that you sign that million dollar deal, man, you got me with like a couple thousand dollars though, man. man you know, hey, so I was there before you blew up, yeah. bro. Oh, Look man. out, just look out. I'm fucking with who fuck with me. Bro. At least give me the at least give me the interview. At least give me the interview while you throw up so I can pay the YouTube money, man. Hell Shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get hit right here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You look out for the cookout. Motherfucker, motherfucker, I wanna give a couple little shout outs too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know we always do the shout outs. I got uh 
I want to give a shout out, especially to Tiff, man. Tiff and Gangsta, my hood, man. Everybody helping me with this music shit. Shout out to my man, my manager, man. I got two, I got two new managers, man. I want to shout out to my man, Bob. Shout out to my man Don Gaddy, man. We got some hot shit coming soon, man. Uh, to my man Bless. I don't know if you know my man Bless. Uh, loyalty boys. Thanks, yeah. Albert. Yeah, 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 that's my that's my. Shout he be shooting my videos and shit. I want to give him a shout out too. Yeah, yeah. He working doing his own thing too. Right, right, right. But no, I, I I I support I support a lot of motherfuckers in the city. I just feel like yeah, I don't I don't cry about support. Like, I support motherfuckers, but I don't, I don't cry about support back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I give natural support. Right. Natural support. Facts. If I fuck with it, I fuck with it. If I want to repost it, I'm going to repost it. You know what I'm saying? No, Straight up. Oh, facts. Facts. Shit, yeah, man. So, is that, is that next mixtape coming out, next album? Yeah. Music video? Yeah. Exclusively we, on DMV Hoods and News. Yeah. Mike posting on DMV Hoods and News. Hell yeah, man. I, I've been having a lot of motherfuckers been asking me when am I going to drop. And I ain't actually, I actually don't got no album, I don't got no mixtape, I got a few singles out, but I'm really about to drop my mixtape, y'all, Stone With The Tone Volume 1, that bitch is dropping, and it's gonna be my whole wave on that motherfucker, from when I first started rapping to now, I'm about to put the whole wave on that joint, straight up, y'all just stay on the lookout, man. And good luck, DMV Hoods and News. I appreciate you pulling up on me, man. Any day, man. Any day, man. This, this interview was not planned or whatever. Mm-hmm. I was just walking up the street. I'm like, hold up. Hell I'm yeah. around my man Stoneway, man. Yeah, y'all niggas, niggas don't think, man, we didn't put this shit together. This shit was just on some. Yeah, man, I called him. Bro, like, bro, I'm around you. Bro, you trying. And he pulled up. He fucked with me. Yeah, and we yeah. locked in, man. Y'all gonna see a lot of shit coming soon. Uh-huh. Definitely. Definitely. Hell yeah. yeah. Shoot, any one more, any shout outs, anything like that, man, before we go? Man, one more shout out to the block, man. Even though they try and take out block and turn it into theirs, but they ain't going to take out block all the way. We still going to be out here. And shout out to my family. Shout out to everybody that support me, man. And shout out to the city, man. Y'all, y'all, all my artists, y'all just keep going, keep going hard. Definitely. Hell yeah. Definitely. Hold on, hold on. When we going to have the block party, though, man? We going to have the 7G block party. Some, man, hey, summertime is when we do this shit. Yeah, real, summertime, real. yeah, yeah. We gonna definitely up. pull up. Hell yeah, you gotta we pull gonna up. We gonna do part, like, we yeah. do part two on the block. Yeah, right? hey, part two, part two gonna be way loud. Seven I'm G, trying to tell you. Seven G reunion, you want definitely do that. Put me on some cool shit. Like, hey, it's cool though. Yeah, yeah man. Whole time, man. Mm-hmm. Shit, any last words? Any words of encouragement? Any words man. of motivation? Man, everybody, like I said, man, I fuck. I'm fucking with the city music uh, scene, man. Everybody just keep going hot. The city and Merlin. Motherfucker, everybody just keep going hard, keep doing their thing. And grind, man. Yeah, let yeah. me grind, because I'm grinding, man. Y'all gonna see this shit dropping soon, straight up. Good. Definitely, man. Mm-hmm. Definitely, man. Shit, man. Whole time, baby. Well, this your book, motherfucker, boy, DMV, who's the news, and we motherfucking gone. It's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. Wrap it up. Yes, sir.